Shalom, 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 Mishvaha. Hopefully everyone is doing wonderful today. Oh, it's a nice cool morning. A little overcast, but other than that, it's it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. It was always a beautiful day when the most high allows you to see it. You know, wake you up to see that day. Alright, family, I'm making this video, uh mainly making this video to uh encourage uh, brothers and sisters, uh, again, I like to make videos to encourage, not just enlighten, but to encourage those that may uh, may be going through some kind of uh, difficulties. So, so today is going to be about uh, where there's no vision, the people perish. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Family. Um, where do you see yourself? Where where do you see yourself? Not not just for this your walk, but where where do you see yourself as for this uh, where where are you now? Do you continue? Do you see yourself continuously hanging around the same people that don't have a vision? Whether it's family members, whether it's friends, whether it's associates, what have you? Or do you see yourself around like-minded people that share that vision? You know, you know, you're gonna you're gonna come across family members, associates, or what have you that's gonna say that you're crazy. I've had family members, you know, said I was in a cult. I mean, the whole nine yards. I don't let that bother me. I I never let that. I I really never let people what they say about me really bother me anyway. You know, opinions is like an asshole. Everybody have one, and some of them you just think, and most of them stink. So anyway, with that being said, family, where do you see your vision? Where do you see your vision? You know, you know, coming from uh, New Orleans, coming from New Orleans, you know, after Katrina, you know, I I I I couldn't see myself doing the same thing I did for thirty plus years. So moving to Texas. Um, you know, I wanted to make it on my own. I wanted to, I wanted to, I, I didn't want to have that crutch of having, you know, uh, mother, father, aunts, uncles, cousins, what have you to lean on. I mean, it's great to have family members. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything about, but you have to have family members that really support you, that really support you. And... Not, but not make a crutch, you know, you just, when you need a hand up, not a hand out type of situation. When you need a hand up, not a hand out. You know, so, again, I didn't, I didn't want a crutch. I didn't want, I didn't, I didn't want, not only a crutch, I didn't want to be around some of the same negative shit. You know, so moving to Texas, I knew I had to, I knew I had to struggle. I knew I had to get it out on my own. If I could survive in New Orleans, I could survive anywhere. So, you know, moving, once I got to New Orleans, I mean, once I got to Texas and established myself, you know, got a nice, beautiful home, nice, beautiful wife, you know, uh, my sons are grown, all my sons are grown, you know, once I came into the truth, you know, explain uh, the transition that I was going through to my sons, they understood that they supported it, even when, even when the world turned their back on me. Family members turned their back on me. My, my son supported me. You know, they have their own walk, but they, they, they understand. We have dialogue, nice conversations, always respectful, cordial, what have you. Uh, again, so moving into the house that my, my wife and I purchased, you know, there was family members on her side that was like, well, you know, why y'all moving out there? Y'all can't afford this and that. There. The whole nine yards family. And I remember telling my wife, if you listen to people Especially people that don't have anything. If you listen to people that don't have nothing and they plant that seed in you, if you're not careful, you you're gonna you're gonna manifest their their, their fruits. You're gonna you, you're gonna manifest their dreams because a lot of people plant these things into you because they don't they don't want to see you grow. So anyway, you know my wife and I we've been in our house for ten years, and. Uh, We've done really well. The Most High, I, I can say this, here, family, you know, you know, the vision that I had 
in each step of the way, you know, uh, did with my sons, waited until my sons graduated out of high school, uh, moving into a nice neighborhood in, 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 in Texas, uh, even now going, looking at land in the country, <clears throat> my wife have supported me every step of the way. She has been a helpmate. Even prior to coming to the truth uh, of us knowing who we are, according to the biblical narrative, my wife have always been a helpmate. You know, and that's that's very important, especially in Israel. That's very important, you know. Uh, a, a, a lot of couples that don't have that success, that's the problem. E either the wife, she's not a helpmate, or the man has no vision. So, so in this vision, you have to have a helpmate. You have to have somebody that supports you and stands behind you and understands her role. But again, you have to have a track record of proving that your visions are not, a, not only obtainable, but those visions are, are, are visions of growth, you know, growth for not just you, but for, for, for your helpmate, you know, you know. And hopefully it's not just about you and your helpmate. Hopefully you can, you can share your vision with other people that are like-minded. So that's why I said about, you know, are you going to separate yourself from the people that are continu continuously uh, destroying you, talking about you, uh, people that are, are a hinder to your growth? You know, again, with being separate, you know, uh, I don't see myself continuously work, working for a system that's making the system stronger, making the system weak or uh, 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 richer. You know, I, I see myself working for my, I see, I see myself working for me and my family, for my helpmate. For those brothers and sisters that really understand and support and, and have the same vision, you know, having our own land, having, uh, you know, getting up and, and, and putting six to eight hours into our own, our gardening, you know, and uh, uh, maybe a, a pond with some, uh, with some fish on it, you know, or we can have our own fishing spot, uh, cattle, what have you. But you have to have people that have that vision. See, the problem with, the, this is the problem, family. Most of the people when you come across, most of the people you're going to come across, what do you call them, co-workers, associates, friends, whatever, they'll talk that game. They'll talk that game, but they don't have, they want to work for the system. They want to continue to be slaves for the system. Even if you show them the potential that they have, just because you have this vision, deep down inside, a lot of them don't have that vision. And they will rather do what they can do to destroy it. Now, respectfully, there are some of those that would, that, that would just weed themselves out because they don't share that vision. And that's, that's, that's the respectful thing to do, is, is unplug yourself from that vision if you don't share it. But there's a lot of people that'll tell you they share that vision and week after week after month after year, they will destroy, they will do anything in their power to destroy that vision. And that's what you have to be careful of. That's why, so when it comes, when, when scripture talks about be ye separate, it's not just talking about the system. Sometimes you have to be ye separate from your own people that call themselves Israelites. Because, like the scripture says also, uh, uh, a Jew is not one that was, one is outwardly, but one that was inwardly. You know, if you're not, you can talk it, but if you don't walk it, it doesn't mean anything. You know, you know brothers and sisters are going to complain about the system time at the time and they're going to go back and they're going to kiss the system's ass because that's what they do. But again, let me let, let me give you another narrative. You remember you you know for for those of y'all that that understand the scriptures and I'm I'm pretty sure everybody have heard the story, the story of Noah. Noah, the most high gave the the, the vision of Noah to build an ark to to save himself and to save his family. And Noah told the people, and the people laughed at him. They, they, they cracked jokes. They made mockery of him, so on and so forth. 
But when the flood came, those same people, they wanted to come get on the, the ark with Noah, and Noah closed the door on them. And those people perished. The same thing is going to happen to those people, family. You have to have this, you have to have this understanding. If those people who you are sharing the vision with to separate themselves from the system, if they don't share that vision, you need to seclude yourself. And when you move, do not tell not a soul where you're at. And when the system, when the system finally collapsed on their ass, because those people, if you bring them where you're at, they're going to destroy everything that you worked hard for. They will do that. You have to understand that, family. You have to really, truly understand that. If they're not willing to sacrifice now, they're not willing to sacrifice then. You need to call a spade a spade. So anyway, family, I just want to uh, I want to throw that out there right fast. Hopefully, this uh, encourage you guys, uh, inspire you guys, motivate you guys. So I'm gonna go and cut it here. With that being said, family, as usual, peace, love, shalom.